What's going on? It's your boy Sermon at Sermon's Domain on Twitter. Gucci Mane is back with the second project of 2016. It's titled Woptober. It's a follow up to this past summer's Everybody Looking. It was the album that Gucci put out shortly after he got out of prison, and he really did everything right to set that up. He was on house arrest at the time, but he was able to shoot videos at the house. He was doing interviews at the house, and not to mention he had Snapchat. So he pretty much had everything that he needed. Now that he's all off house arrest. I'm interested to see how he handles Woptober. We've seen videos that aren't shot at his house. We've seen him in New York doing press. So he's able to do more with this upcoming release. And the thing that is tough about Gucci Mane is that he makes the same kind of music with every project. Now I don't say that in a bad way because I say it like he's found his lane and he's gonna stick to it. He's gonna give you good music every time but I think as a reviewer it gets challenging for me to figure out what to say. Like, what am I supposed to say when I feel like I've heard this and that before? So, instead of doing things the traditional way, I just wanted to highlight a few likes and dislikes for this album, October. One of the things I loved about the project was the production. If there's one thing that you could say about Gucci in his entire career is that he's always gotten the best out of the producers that he works with. He tends to work with the same people on every project, but he's always consistently getting their best product. For instance, you got London on the track produce WAP, and I really love that beat. I think with this project, WAPtober, I like the beats that stand out. Like, they're still Gucci ish, but they stand out among everything else. I like. Zaytoven's a good producer, don't get me wrong, but a lot of his stuff sounds recycled, it sounds the same. So I get tired of hearing Gucci over Zaytoven beats. But, for instance, he does link up with Metro Boomin on uh, Love Her Body, and that's results in a really strong collaboration between the two that doesn't sound like the, the typical Zaytoven beat. And so I like that Gucci's able to bring these these producers together as well. Another record that I really enjoyed the production and even more so the lyrics was Out the Zoo. Out the Zoo to me represents the best form of Gucci's lyrics. When you think about some of his lyrically his best work, I feel like Out the Zoo can rank in that category. When I first heard uh, First Day Out the Feds earlier this year, I said, this is like the Gucci that I want. It's so vivid and he's detailed and he's telling a story. And, and the same can be said for Out the Zoo. In the second verse he says, off my meds, I can't sleep because I hear voices in my head. This little devil on my left shoulder say, shoot him in the dreads. While an angel on the white right whisper, just shoot him in the leg. I really thought like that was like a deep line because when you think about like the concept of an angel and a demon talking to you, the angel's supposed to tell you something good. But I feel like with how Gucci's lived his entire life he doesn't have that t particular option that someone else might have so his angel is saying just shoot him in the leg and it won't be as damaging as if you shot him in the head so i thought that was a really strong line and again al the zoo is probably my favorite off of that album um and then another favorite was addicted i like that he kind of reflects on his personality like, Addicted is not just about his addiction to drugs, it's about his addiction to the street life, to a lot of stuff. Like, it basically shows that Gucci has had uh, a very addictive personality in his life. I think it's good therapy for him and his fans because they can relate to some of the stuff that Gucci is saying. Let's get to the bad of the album. First off, Rick Ross on Money Machine was good. I liked his verse, but... Outside of that, Money Machine is very generic, and it just feels too familiar. Like I said earlier, when it, it seems like Gucci is making the same kind of music continuously, and sometimes it's it's a bad thing, and that's where Money Machine comes in. I really wasn't feeling that record, and like there's uh, more filler on this album as well, like Right on Time and High Five, but I think to say like every other song besides those three that I just listed are dope would be lying because the songs that I mentioned you know Out the Zoo, uh, Addicted and then there was um, you know there's a few other records on there too that I really enjoyed but those are the ones that I'm going to continue to listen to that I really thought stood out from the project 
and then everything else is kind of it's just there and while I'm kind of on the subject of features there was only two on this one Rick Ross and Young Dolph I guess the Travis Scott record title last time was cut from the final track listing for whatever reason but the thing that everybody says about Gucci is that he's one of the best A&Rs in Atlanta so I want to see him kind of continue that I want to see him work with some new people. Not to say that Rick Ross and Young Dolph are not dope artists, because they are. But I think I want to continue to see Gucci embrace uh, new Atlanta talent. New talent just all around. Because he, he, it hasn't just been Atlanta talent. He's co-signed artists in Chicago, from New York, all kinds of different areas. So I want to see him continue to do that. I get it now. He's kind of... Uh, just easing his way back into the industry and that makes sense but I think going forward I would love to see him work with some new people. The biggest issue with Gucci on Woptober and everybody looking is that there's too much filler but when he does do his thing he really does his thing in his show so there's some cuts on Woptober if you're a fan you're gonna enjoy some of the work as well. Um, let me know what you think about the album in the comment section below and then like the video subscribe to the channel if you're not already share the video Follow me on Twitter at Sermons Domain and as always, thank you for your time. I appreciate you for watching and until next time, peace.